Mr. Mashaba. Hey, hey, yes, Philip, yes. Uh, I'm in there. Yeah, I'm Good. fine in you. I'm fine, thank you. It's, uh, I'm so uh, glad that you managed to come online. How's yes. things in Bush, in Bush Park Ridge? Yeah, it seems I'm okay, okay. I'm a little bit cold, but it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, Fani, we are, I am recording this uh, session and um, let me just put my video on for a bit. Okay. Uh, okay. You can see. You can see. You can see me now. Yes, I can see. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. You don't have to put your video on because I think that you can if you want to try it, but it might have an impact on the on the signal. Um, okay. Yeah. So I think we are already a little bit behind time. So I think uh, let's uh, let's start straight away. First, let me thank you for giving up your time um, here tonight to have this uh, short interview or conversation, really. Um, it is part of a program which is supported by the Global Green Grants Fund, um, where we are working on a document to look at uh, problems civil society are facing. Of course, you know, no Geosphere, the focus must be on, uh, on timber plantations, but uh, it's not it needed to be on timber plantations, you know, with every interview. I think you are the 12th person that we are interviewing. And, uh, you know, there's experts from various uh, or activists from various sectors, like the mining sector, like people working on, 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 on issues of coal and gas extraction, um, oil and gas extraction, coal mining, gold mining. So a whole range of issues are being, uh, are being touched on. And tonight, it would be nice to talk to you as a traditional health practitioner about the work that you do, the work that you are involved with, um, the problems that you and your community are facing, uh, solutions that you are working on, and a potential way forward. But first, before we... Uh, be, yeah, well, I, I, I just want to introduce you as uh, Mr. Fani Mashaba, who is a well-respected traditional health practitioner, uh, chairperson of the, the traditional health practitioners organization when I when I met you um, we've been working yeah. together for quite some time I think it's it's more than 10 years almost 20 years that we've known each other yeah. so um, and, okay. and I, I'd like to start by asking you just to give us a little bit of background to yourself you know where you were born uh, where you grew up and how you became a traditional health practitioner. What inspired you or what, what led you on that path to become a traditional health practitioner? Thanks. Okay. No, thank, thanks, uh, Philip. My, my name is, uh, is Fanny Mashaba. I'm born in 1965. Uh, now I'm living in Bush Park Ridge. So it, uh, uh, actually, my name, my real name is Fanny Quiente. Fanny Quiente. It's only that when you are going to to register for an ID, those days they say no, Fanny Quiente is only very funny. It's funny or then I, I start to become funny. So uh, I, I, I start to practice in, uh, as a traditional healer, 1999. Health practitioner. Then I, I was involved in a lot of things. Uh, like I, I was a chairperson of the health practitioner in Mpumalanga for more than uh, 10 years. So now uh, I'm running a, a, a non profit company with some one of the directors in in, in, in Mpumalanga that call it uh, a, a, a indigenous knowledge. So in short, we have a, a little big problem, but it's not a little bit, it's a problem for the whole uh, Mpumalanga, even the, the neighboring countries, that uh, uh, before you come a healer, because uh, it, it's a calling, to become a healer is a calling, it's something that you experience when you grow up. Like myself, I was working in a, in a, uh, in a other company, call it a, uh, uh, yeah, 
I just forget the name, but I'll, I'll come back with the name. I was talking in TSB. This way my coding starts. Then I come back home. Uh, I start to practice. Then my, my parents are also uh, know about healing system that my grandmother was also a Sangoma. Then helped me through the process of 19. Uh, 99 is where I start to practice, but when I just realized when I was start practicing that it's not my calling is not only to to heal people, it's only to 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 teach uh, how to respect the environment and ourselves as traditional healers. I was involved in many sessions that I was trying to to speak about this, but it was that time, it was difficult for traditional healers, special to speak with the government. Uh, unfortunately, when you come in, in 2000, 2007, this way the government come up with the act number 22 of 2007, that we are, we would start to engage us, that we must say something about this. But when we, uh, we I was part of that, uh, health practitioners but uh, unfortunately you know uh, for the government uh, it's all about uh, uh, western medicine it was not easy even now it's not easy uh, you must just cure the line if you don't cure the line or speak on the behalf of our our system our african medicine because now we have a lot of challenges that many people are coming in our in, in different way in universities, making research, uh, they came to our places and asked us that we must tell them about medicine. They take all our, our knowledge and go and do some research or make some medicine. We don't know what they're doing about that. But so when times goes, then I, 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 I meet guests here. It was 2010, yeah, it was 2010. Then they start to teach me how to cooperate, how to to do things together. So that, the, those sessions that I attended, it helps me a lot because I know what to do. Yeah. So now uh, uh, I, I start making campaigns like cleaning river uh, because we have an impact, you know, in in, in Pumalanga and the whole uh, the bush park region. The whole Pumalanga that people are dumping nappies in the river. So the calling just start to me that I must start telling people it was today to the uh, 2010. Then I was start telling people that uh, uh, the impact of putting nappies in 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 rivers it doesn't affect only the river. It affects even the community. And when you want to declare the war with God, then you can do that. Because in the rivers is where we are, we, we were making ceremonies and baptizing, and we use those uh, even the rivers. What is the only thing that we live on? Because even we drink a pipe water, but come from the river. I start to make those campaigns, helping with uh, other stakeholders and the community of uh, Bush Park Ridge. But I go around the whole of Pomalanga, uh, even those the other places that didn't reach it because of the funding, because I was doing it my own that time. But now uh, I, I think the impact of the nippies, now you can see it, uh, the, 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 the rain in the storm, like the rust rain, it was cleaning the river. So now the people are, t are, are starting to, uh, to complain about the, 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 the rain, that how this rain is coming to destroy us. But uh, when we look in our our site that you can find that, you know, it's, it, it, it's what we have told them before that it let us not do it because our, our rivers, there will be time that will come and try to clean himself. Then we, you find that they, they, it will destroy and make some impact in our community. It's what happening now. But uh, all in all now as traditional healers, as, as I say that we are in a, a we have a, a NPC, uh, this NPC, we have registered as a group that we, it is our our thinking or it is our view that uh, one of the day, uh, maybe we'll get some funding 
But uh, what we want to do with that is we, we try to open our own academy. Then we, we, we can teach people how to protect the environment, how to live uh, in, 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 in the space of the uh, grassland and all the stuff that uh, the traditional medicine, the impact of culture, because we, we have uh, culture versus religion. Then our people now are dying because they don't have information about what is good for you to to be uh, in culture. They think religion is one of the best, but culture is is about myself. Uh, so it's what we, we are trying to do now. But we get some. Uh, uh, we have go to other uh, chief uh, Mohani next to the Nyakademi. He just show us a site where we can do that is only that now we are collecting money that we need to pay before we get papers but but we we all have problem we all, we have problem programs that we are running as now as we speak uh, one of the program every sunday in radio bush park Ridge from 9 to 10 we have a culture program and we do some campaign around Pumalanga to teach our people about the importance of the, 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 how to take care of the environment and what is it important to live in a, a healthy environment. Because if we want to be healthy, uh, our environment also must be healthy. So now if we consider our environment is dead uh, because of the pollution, especially around Bushpark Ridge, we got a lot of things that happening around our area, like sign mining, the, the impact of uh, starting maybe the the, the, the the development side. You see, if they want to make uh, maybe a mall, you know, we find that there's a lot of uh, medicine around that place, but at the end, they just dig it and threw it away without consulting traditional healers or, or our, uh, people that know better, but they do that to, we can take it and save it somewhere because now we are running short of the medicine because of the impact of the sign mining and uh, the climate change. Also, we got the impact because also we can feel as a traditional healers that uh, it is our responsible to heal the climate change, and we can do that because. Uh, uh, when we talk about healing, it's not all about human being. We can heal even the, uh, the nature because sometimes if, if there's a storm that is coming, some of us, they've got that uh, knowledge, how can they stop the storm? How can they, they use their science to, to do whatever to, to protect our people? So it's what we're trying to do now that even if when we get uh, uh, some funding or whatever we find, but we will teach our people further more about what is happening in our culture and what is the impact, what is really needed to do. And the way forward is that we keep on trying, uh, teaching our people, making campaign. It's only that we cannot run our, our, our problem or too much is, 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 is funding. We don't have funding, we don't have someone to fund us. But we hope one day, and we cannot stop doing that because we don't have money. Because mm -hmm. some, somewhere money doesn't help. But if we, we are together and doing something that it's helping, even the people now that, that thank us most of the time about what we're doing, the lesson that they'll get from Radio Bush, the campaign that we're making around Mpokmalanga, teaching our people that is the important. And, even how to to, to 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 protect our indigenous knowledge and our indigenous tree. That is a, one of the important or some of the things that we are trying or we are doing now. I, I, I think I'll stop. Um, yes, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Mashaba. Yes, I I think one of the videos on the Geosphere Africa <coughs> YouTube channel, uh, let me just, yeah. One of the videos on the Geosphere Africa YouTube channel is uh, about um, you guys there in Bushpark Ridge being involved in a river cleaning exercise um, as yeah. one of the projects that you speak of. Yeah, And it's interesting that the specific video is the one that's been watched most times 
on the Geosphere oh. uh, Africa channel, yeah. Um, and then I, I, I just want to touch on that the issue that you spoke about with the nappies. Of course, um, some of the, or I can just uh, tell uh, viewers maybe on Facebook if you're tuning in, that these are, of course, uh, disposable diapers, like, uh, you know, the famous brands, uh, Huggies, uh, you know, Pampers, oh. you know, from uh, Kimberly Clark and Procter & Gamble. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, these uh, uh, products, of course, are, are very, um, you know, easy to use and, um, uh, and, and people are, are, are turning to that instead of using traditional methods of, of diapering. And, uh, of yeah. course, uh, uh, diapers have to be thrown away. I mean, that's part of the, of the ease of use of it, that it can just be chucked away. But in many areas, like where Mr. Mashaba is from in Bushbuck Ridge, there's areas, there's a very, very big area, lots of people, and there's places where there's not sufficient or maybe non-existent service delivery and uh, waste removal services. So um, you find that people have uh, uh, sit with uh, uh, bags of, of dirty diapers, and often, as Mr. Mashaba mentioned, that just gets discarded in the bush or thrown into the river. And of course, that has a negative impact on the health, not only of the river, but also, as uh, Mr. Mashaba has mentioned, um, on, 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 on the people, um, because it have, can also, I think, affect you psychologically. Um, can you maybe just uh, um, expand a little bit on that specific issue of, of the diapers, the nappies, the buggies and the pampers that's being thrown away? Um, is it, uh, you know, is that the primary reason that there is, uh, that there's no uh, waste removal or limited waste removal services? Or do you think it is also a case of people just uh, not, not caring and, and having to be educated about the impact? I, I, I think the, the, the whole thing, uh... It need about education and campaign because we are doing this volunteer to do. But if you can look, we are helping our government, even our municipal art. We have made a lot to pick up from the river, put it in a plastic bag, put it around uh, maybe outside the the road. That when they come, they will pick it the the municipal art and. Pay it going through it in a, in a right safe place. But we think that we, we can remove it from the river and put it in a plastic bag and we dump there. It takes sometimes two months for a municipality to remove those things. And you find now dogs, uh, pigs, and all those things are just, hey, it, it is terrible what is happening around us because I, I think, uh, it is good for our municipality to talk as seriously to what we, we are doing. And not only we are municipality also, because the dumping site also, that I think they don't have a really dumping site because we, we try to help them, but they don't collect it. So if we don't have a transport to take it to the dumping site, then it's another impact because they will stay there until the people now start complaining about the the the, the smell that they get from those things, because yeah. it's not only that nappies and the dogs. Some are putting dogs in the river, so there are many things. But I think uh, uh, even the, the, our government uh, is not aware or is aware. I don't know, but we have tried. Uh, I was involved to 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 other stakeholders. Call it. Uh, in coma to also to catchment agents. Uh, they help us maybe giving us that refuse bag that we must put inside, then put it the other side that maybe my best part. Now uh, you see the people are doing that. They come now and say, ah, it, it is the same because we pick it up, we put it down, otherwise municipality doesn't collect. So that is the the issue that the been the burning issue around us because this we are doing for the love of the environment. But if we can get someone that can, when we remove from the river, put it aside, then we take it from the dumping site. But that is not the solution. The solution is that people have problem in their mind. I think mindset of the people are, are tending to be 
evil spirits. So I, I, I don't understand what is happening because river is all about life. River is all about the beginning and the end of life. But if people decide to take nippies, put it in a river, then you see, you can see that there's something wrong in our mind because as we speak now, sometimes we are facing the environment that is too hot. Our children also go inside the rain. They decide they're snappies. Then the, our children decide are uh, 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 swimming. Then you, you see this thing, uh, 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 I don't understand what you can do best, that people must understand that river is not the dumping site. Even our environment need us to talk care of the environment. No one is, is responsible for the, for, the, for the environment without me and you taking care of, of around us. Because it, we need to start from our villages to educate people how to take care of the environment. But no, if we talk about the environment, then some, they tell you about religion, that everything is God. If God say yes, then you can do whatever because people now they got the right to abuse the environment. That is the issue that maybe if we come together, because even if we, uh, we can collect, we collect today, tomorrow we find some. But the, the main thing is how to educate people that must understand the, 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 the importance of, of environment. I think people that don't understand what is environment, what is the relation between environment and human being. I think, I think that is the case. I think you're, you're absolutely uh, right that people need to be, um, you know, our mindsets need to change with regards to the way that we treat our environment. Um, but I, 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 I also just reflect upon the fact that uh, these uh, big companies like Kimberly Clark and Procter and Gamble, the companies that make these disposable diapers, they make billions. They make billions yeah. of dollars. Um, and yeah. I think it's a very. I mean, they, they should also sort of take care of their own products. You know, of the life cycle of their own products. Because in a way, mm. they, 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 they make sure that these products like disposable diapers can be uh, 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 obtained in places like Bushbuck Ridge. So there's, there's easy access. You can go to any checkers or you'll find uh, those products there. But they must also yeah. help, help the communities and people in general to, to, to take care of the diaper once it's been disposed. I mean... It's their product. So I think if, if, if my advice to you, um, and maybe we can, we can try and collaborate on such projects, is to, again, because we've approached uh, uh, big companies in the past, like, uh, like uh, Kimberly Clark, but I think if, if your organization, your uh, NGO, um, a coalition of traditional health practitioners or people that's concerned in Bushpark Ridge, if you write yeah. a, a, a letter to... Procter and Gamble and Kimberly Clark, and ask them for assistance um, in terms of education, uh, educating the people, in terms of maybe helping with 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 uh, removing those dirty diapers. Uh, you know, uh, then I think that is an opportunity that you must follow up on, um, because I know that uh, you know, and of course also with government, and it's great that you are involved with the IUCMA. But they must also, yeah. and I'm sure they are, you must make them aware of the specific problems that you're struggling with. Like you can remove, it's not only that the people throw the, the diapers in the river. If you remove yeah. those diapers from the river, then they are not being collected by the municipality, as you've just said. So that, uh, of course, that compounds the problem. Um, yes. I just want to reflect a little bit on, the, on, on, on traditional healers and the, the way that we, we have to have respect for our environment and, and our rivers. And uh, if you do not mind, I would like to just spend five minutes and uh, see if I can stream the movie. Um, that's uh, where the traditional health practitioners was involved in uh, that uh, event uh, around uh, river health, like a ceremony for the river. A couple of years ago, I, I think we collaborated on that, that day of action for rivers, and we met up at that beautiful uh, waterfall. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to see if I um, 
I'm, I can manage to stream this, uh, this, this video. And then we can, uh, so yeah, then we can uh, take a short break while the video is streaming. But let me just get it going. If that's all right with you? Yeah, I am all right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Share media. Share screen. Phone by a cable. Share. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mashaba, that was nice to see, eh? Hey, yeah, that's another day. 
Can yeah, you can you maybe maybe explain to us a little bit about that ceremony? Um, I mean, I, I remember it took uh, took the whole day, and it, there was a, a a specific procession of songs and 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 dances that had to be performed. Um, can you just explain to us a little bit about what was happening in that video? Uh, you remember, every year uh, we have a river celebrity. We celebrate our rivers in 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 the world world so this is how we think is good for for to, to to engage people that they must understand it's all about ceremony the, the, the ceremony that we is our prayer to our ancestors they must help us even the river themselves they must help us that when we we run those campaigns people must understand the importance of the the, the river uh, and to live and with the environment because uh, now our people uh, they don't understand the importance of 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 of, of how to live with environment so to, to to make that ceremony it was something that it need to be happen every year any time because our our youth they believe we got something that they can see so some of them they can realize the importance then they will never put some nappies inside the river we pray that god our godfather must remind them that it is important to 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 take care of the rivers even the environment himself because now we have a situation where uh, everywhere there is a pollution everywhere people just dump everything then uh, you can see now some of the people they don't think they think that in africa or south africa we don't have rivers that can go and visit so it is important for us that we must teach even our children that they must go and visit our river because some of people that they have money they see they fly somewhere to 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 Israel and go and but in in Jordan you see but we have our own river and our own resources in Africa that we can take care of them and and we can do more about this and but what is most important is that the, the life is is water and if if you don't take care of 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 our we don't take care of our rivers then we are lost because now we have the we have some many diseases that are happening around uh, our communities that some some of those diseases are not made uh, because of the environment then we, we find ourselves that we are we have people that are not healthy because of the environment because if you can see the environment themselves if you have problems then you go and visit the river when you go there uh, after a few minutes you can feel free because it heals you without taking any medication so to to take care of the environment it, that means you take care of your soul your soul your body and your mind then you can refresh in the river so to go to the river uh, making some ceremony like that is that to remind our people and and our godfathers that we are still here in Africa, and people must understand the importance. And I will thank uh, guests here that to give us that opportunity to and support us financially to help such a ceremony. That one uh, is unforgettable because when you go around, those people who are with us that are talking about what happened, that we don't go again and do some ceremony. Uh, it, it seems that they take care some of them and if, as we, we we started that that day many many people because many of our traditional healers they just start realize that it's important to talk about dream that's why now we see around umpumana we have a lot of group of traditional healers uh, in in Savela and in, in Kavashu, that themselves now they take care of the river. That is only that those challenges that we're speaking about still remain. But I, I think one of the day 
we will have a healthy environment. But it, it is up to us that uh, uh, we must understand and change the mindset of the people. Even uh, it is difficult because those who are taking ourselves talking about the, 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 the environment, but our government doesn't care. But if we can engage all stakeholders, the government, talking to our people, the importance of the environment and the healthy style, because we cannot say we have a healthy style, but our environment are not healthy. So yeah. I, I think that those things is, is the impact of what we, we are living in now. Now we're facing the, uh, the, 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 the COVID-19. But uh, if you can look around, what happened to COVID-19 and other diseases? You can think that uh, uh, maybe our God doesn't like us, but sometimes it's all about that. If you can take care of our environment, then the, the, the environment will proud that because you will send us a message. Because if you, you find a message from our ancestors that you can take this water, so because we have living water, we have secret water, especially around uh, uh, your place uh, at, at Sudwa. There's a warm water come from a uh, mountain uh, originally. Nothing happened. And you see there are secret water. Those water, that's why you can see people come from Cape Town. They come and just come to fetch those water in two liters. That is a healthy uh, uh, water. Then it's what we are trying to do, because even if we say we drink healthy water in our taps, are not healthy because now are putting some chemical and all the stuff, but we can use our original water to, to cure our self and do whatever you want, because life begins in environment. So we are an organic people that we need to take care of this thing. I think this program like this, it needs continually, and people need to understand the importance of, of being a, 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 an African. What does that mean to be an African? Because if you don't know what does that mean to be an African, you will never take care of, of your environment because you think you come somewhere to another place. But if we understand that this environment, we need to, to to take care that our forefathers, they, they left the environment health. Now we are destroying for the future of our children. So we need to take care and think about the future of our children that they must also come and get the good environment, healthy water. Everything that we are doing, it will be healthy if we are healthy in mind. But now we say now we are free. Like now we are in the freedom months, but you can see that our mind are not free because we don't know where we come from. But if we know where we come from, we don't we know that we belong to the nature. The nature wow. is our is our is our heritage. So I, I think this it needs continually uh, have a, a session, uh, having uh, the ceremonies that people must understand. Because even if you you see the sango, when you gain and graduate, the, we all go to the river. That means there is something in the river that you feel the power. And uh, if you talk, because myself, I believe that we need to know how to communicate with the environment. If you know how to communicate with the environment, then you will never have many problems because the environment can kill you are healthy, the environment can cure your mind. Wow. That is it, what I our, 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 our was doing that, that day uh, to remind uh, ourselves that we are in the healthy, we are in the, the, the space that we need to take care of our environment. Yeah, I think we should, we should, we should uh, try and arrange uh, again such a gathering maybe next year because I think that's on the Day of Action for Rivers is on the 14th of March. Um, yes, 14th of March. Yeah. I want to uh, just uh, ask you, you mentioned COVID. Um, how has COVID impacted on your community? Do you find there's a lot of people in Bushpark Ridge that have uh, succumbed to the disease that became sick due to it? 
I know here my, my, my wife, she had it, although she tested negative twice, but after she, uh, she and she was very sick, but when she recovered, she was, uh, she had a lot of antibodies, um, but none of the rest of my family um, here that, that, you know, in close proximity to my wife uh, got it, which is quite strange, you know, and then uh, some other family members also got it, but none of them, one of them got it quite severely, but, you know, was quite sick and had to get oxygen and stuff, but most of most of it was was quite minor symptoms. Um, yes. um, do you, uh, in your community, do you know of many people that have suffered from COVID? And um, and I'd also like to know from you what do you think about the, um, you know the, the 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 medicine for it, the jab that you can get for it, the vaccination that you can get for it. Is it? Um, is it do you, do you is that because I understand that maybe we will not even be able to travel to Mozambique or even Swaziland if you don't if you haven't had that 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 that, that COVID uh, uh, inoculation, you know? What do you? Yes. Think hey, it is difficult to say because even our a government we. With sometimes we want to know, we ask them question, what is it, call it the COVID-19? Is it a disease or is it a war? Because we will never understand until someone tell us something. But uh, uh, my thinking is, uh, is that uh, we need to take care of ourselves and understand ourselves that there is God that can save us. But many in our communities, the statistic uh, just come out every day. You see that many people are affected. Some are already passed away. But uh, myself, I, I use an uh, African medicine. I use those herbs. And I, I, I'm not willing to take any vaccination because there's consequences in this vaccination. And not only the consequences of the vaccination, but uh, our our medicine in Africa, we have a lot of medi medicine plant that can save our people. It's only that now our government is is making some dollars to buy those uh, vaccination because if if we, if you look at the uh, we have engineers in Africa. We have all people that are educated researchers. What makes us not to have our own vaccination in Africa? Then we say everything it needs to become from somewhere, somehow, the overseas. Because if if you look, we, we have everything that we, we don't need. This. I mean, South Africa is the richest country in the world, that's why the Chinese are coming here. Everyone is coming here. Uh, but what is the, 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 the really thing that they want? They want to see uh, that uh, uh, well, they just come and stole our knowledge and take our gold and diamond and take it away from us. Then after you can see now the, 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 the vaccination, if you can make a research, you'll find that the herbs that are making the vaccination are somewhere around our our places. But because they take it and put it uh, uh, in the laboratory and put some uh, some sweets that you can feel that is better because it write it one or two, three days a day. But the original medicine is around us. I, uh, I, I don't think... Uh, uh, the, 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 it, it, it is not fair that a, 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 a infection like the, our government can cure TB and many diseases, but how how can we not cure this COVID nineteen? But we, you, you, it's all about that you must cure the line. If you say no, I can cure the, the COVID nineteen, you 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 become a target. So uh, we, we, we just please allow our people and tell our people they must, they must eat steaming, drink healthy water, and take care of your body. And if you don't know what to do to steam, ask us. Uh, we'll give you some 
uh, many times we have made even those. Uh, there was a streaming campaign that it, uh, it was started by the chorus. So I, I think that it helps because if, when uh, we start that, that streaming campaign around the world, you, see, you can see now the statistics are coming down. People now, they don't trust anything but to steam and to drink our medicine because they are healthy and they are helping us in our body. Uh, I'm strong as, yes, you know, because I take, and I don't wait until I get infected by COVID. I just try my best that when I go to the crowd, when I come back home, before I can do whatever, I, I steam, I drink warm water, lemon and all the stuff that maybe sometimes we need to teach our people how to, 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 to face this thing, call it COVID-19. But COVID-19 is not the end of the world. It's only the test that ourselves, we, must, we find ourselves in a situation that situation that if ourselves we can, we, we can come together and do this COVID-19, we need to face it and fight the COVID-19. We can co overcome the COVID-19. It's only that uh, there's no one who are talking about our medicine. We, we talk about the vaccination <laughs> come from somewhere, uh, uh, all the stuff and think that our medicine is not longer useful to our people but now our, our people at the time they, they they start to realize that the african medicine is the only thing that they can save them if we, even if you go around uh, we, we, we will find some of that we ask them they were infected what did happen to you when uh, you tell them that no i survived because i still i take some fronyana and some and yeah, me too. The guava, put it together and drink. Yes, okay. I uh, was. I, I, I think. Yes. I'm sorry, um, Mashaba. During that time, that, that that COVID was now really, you know, that first wave, which was you know quite scary, and that big lockdown. I felt yes. drawn to um, to uh, you've mentioned Bufunyani. Um, you know, oh, Artemisia Afro or, or Wormwood or Afrikaans, we call it Villa Ols because it grows wild and it cures almost anything, you know, um, Villa yeah. Ols, So that's one oh, of yeah. the things that, and, and, and I would occasionally, because I've got some of it that's, that I, when I walk past the plant, I would uh, pick a little bit and just chew it and, and, and swallow it, you know, some, I know it's really bitter, but, and not a lot, maybe just one, you know, small segmented leaf. And then I would yes. I also take some and crush it and 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 put it up my my nostrils, not to deep. Yes. And then uh, and then uh, and then uh, you know walk and breathe that. And the other thing that I would uh, would do is to use the dried muhlunyani. Um, sometimes yes. I would mix a little bit to, with my weed and smoke it. Yes. Um, but uh, otherwise, I would mix it with hot water and uh, put it, you know, put it on a slow flame and like you and put the towel over my head and steam. Um, and steam I, I, yeah. Yes, I'm interested in what you were saying about steaming. Um, yes. say, how, 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 how do you recommend that one should steam? If one of the listeners or one of the viewers that will uh, look at this video maybe in the future, if they want to try the steaming, how does it work? What do they need to do? Yeah, you know, sometimes to steam, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean that you must steam the whole body uh, because the, 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 this uh, virus is in your sinus. So even the half body, your head only, you can just, even if it's not Mkhonyana, whatever it takes, you can put the, the leaves of, of our in, our, our plants, whatever you have around you and put it in a boiling water that steam your half body. And it is especially when you go to, to the crowd, when you go to the mall, when you come back, don't wait until you be find that we have COVID-19. When you go out, when you come back, just steam and drink warm water. If you have a just put it, boil it and drink it as medicine. Oh, uh, I, I, I think I will have uh, uh, 
I, I will talk to you, Philip. I will give you some receipt that maybe you can put it in a uh, Facebook or whatever that people, okay. if they want to use it, they no, can, can just link take it. I can it link it to the video. I can put it in the description of the video on YouTube. That's a good, a good yes. idea. Thanks. Yes, I will. I will make it for the sake of our people that uh, there's no oh, need okay. to, to, to go around and seek for information. You must give them information that they must help. But I'll also uh, uh, go in and shoot some some plant that they can use because we have many plants that are more powerful than Mfonyan and that Lignatel. Lignatel is one of the best that if you 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 steam with Lignatel, you drink it. Even when we grow up, like uh, uh, this, you uh, call it Sibach, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, what do you call it in one uh, language? Uh, uh, paper, paper bag. Yeah. yeah. You can drink it together. You see, you can feel fresh air. And one of the things that you must do is our, sometimes you must have something that you can make your stomach uh, cleans your body uh, that you are so you are you are your immune system you must always be healthy uh, because uh, your your immune system is what the the, the covid 19 target your immune system so you need to have uh, those things that can boost your immune system or orange uh, fruits eat fruits more than ever and less drugs like uh, smoking too much uh, cigarette and drinking alcohol more than ever. You can drink more water than that because now we are facing an epidemic that need us to, to pay attention. But I think uh, there are many that uh, do, do affect it with this COVID-19 around our places in our, in our family, but the recovery. Most of them that they have steaming and drink our medicine and that help. It's only that we cannot talk around uh, our government to say, no, there is this, you can use this because uh, it, it, it seems like when you talk about that, you, you, you're going to face the, the judgment, you see. So, but our it is up to our people what they believe. If they can take the vaccine, they can take the vaccine, but the vaccine doesn't cure it just protect, and now you can hear around the media that there's problem with this vaccine. So what is important is water, because mm. everything that we use in life that can cure more than ever is what steam. You can steam without any medication or any plant. You can mm. just take pure water without anything and steam your house. Then mm. if you feel that because there's people who are living with asthma. Uh, now I make a research that you, you can use only put your mask on, then you steam with your mask. Then you always open it slowly that you can breathe. It helps a lot. I, I, I think that it helps. The steaming is helping and it's healthy. It makes that you, you feel comfortable when you come out from the steaming. And there is no COVID-19 if it's a, it's a disease. Uh, that come around us, we can fight it with only that steaming. Steaming is 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 help is helpful than whatever we we find outside. Yes. Oh, I I I, I agree, and I also feel uh, comfortable um, if I if I if 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 I use that that method. Um, now, um, I just want to touch on on something that uh, that we've been in a way talking about, but. Um, I mean, there's, there's now, what, going on 8 billion people on the planet. Everybody is so interconnected in terms of trade and in terms of this and that, you know, um, a, a country like Germany or France or England, they cannot close their borders because how are they going to live and eat if they don't, if they cannot import food from places where it is being produced, you know? So everything now is 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 so interconnected, and, and like I said, uh, we are almost eight billion people. Of course, all of that comes at an incredible environmental cost. So the, it seems as if the, there's much less wild things around us at the moment, and there's much less wilderness and much less space 
for for mm. for those indigenous medicines that you that you need. So I can see a problem because I can see that there's more people um, that 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 needs to be healthy and that needs to eat. There's there's less natural resources because of mm. more you know uh, a sort of destruction of the environment and exploitation of the environment, be it a huge mining areas, be it timber plantations like in our region. You know, if you yeah. walk underneath those those eucalypt, those gum trees or pine trees, you don't see lots of indigenous vegetation because the indigenous, yeah. uh, the grassland plants and shrubs and wildflowers, they cannot live in those conditions. So how yeah. do we face that dilemma, you know, where there's that now that there's there's actually a more of a, of a need for these indigenous resources, um, we see it is it has been greatly diminished. Um, how how do we how do we respond to that uh, to that challenge? Yes, yes, that one is difficult because the people who are. Uh, or uh, like yourself and other, stake other stakeholders who are fighting this this timber plantation, the, you, you can fight, you can fight until you die, and they will never remove those plantations because, uh, you know, our our politicians, they just feed their their stomach, and some of the the big heads of the state. They are owning this plantation, so it's not easy to remove those plantations and put it uh, 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 indigenous you know, uh, plantation. But uh, what is important is for us to to have necessaries and get what is we see that is vanishing and put it together. That in future we must have that. That's why, <coughs> sorry, we 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 start. Uh, was thinking that most of us we must never uh, indigenous nazar that we must plant what we see that this, because now even the government is in a this in a, is in a move that uh, there's some uh, they will tell you that this is protected tree you cannot remove it it cannot like a baobab tree now they say baobab tree is a heritage but if they find the baobab in your house, you must have a license. But think about those who are signed mining. How many indigenous knowledge that uh, indigenous trees that they are destroying many, but they say nothing because they have they got tracks. We yes, we, we understand we must have a, a, a development and infrastructure, but the way they are doing things is not the way of respecting environment. And it is good that if they want to do to, 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 to make maybe a, a mall or whatever, they must consult that we must go and look around uh, what you can pick it out and put it in our side that maybe it can help on the future. I think what is important now is to plant, uh, to have necessary and, and plant those indigenous knowledge because not even, it, it, even in the river, there's some many plantations that are living inside the river. You'll never find it now. Even I will now, I travel from here to maybe Puluqua and just go and so look for for, for, for for some herbs that before you can find it around. So I, I think what is important is to have our own place in our and talk uh, some to the chiefs because some of our traditional leaders, they understand the impact. So if we can uh, move with making necessary, I think that will assist a lot. And and, uh, and our people like around myself, there's a new development plan that, that they give uh, people sight. Sometimes I give myself a time and go, and ask that people, hey, you see this tree, don't remove it because it's important. Because people, they don't understand what is important in, uh, in what brings uh, oxygen to us. They think oxygen comes from heaven. But if you explain to them that oxygen is those leaves 
then uh, people will starting taking care. I think uh, that the education, the mindset that we can make campaign and have classes session that to talk about this, people will pick it with slow big and and encourage our people to plant those trees in our in our home. I think that will help us. But now we have a challenge, a big challenge that we cannot run away from that. Everything is vanishing. Everything is taking away. Anything is destroying, especially our indigenous uh, trees. Uh, it's very, it's very painful what we see. Sometimes we don't sleep to ourselves because you can see this, the, the trees that can cure cancer and whatever. But now people are destroying because knowledge they don't have. So we need to put knowledge that people must understand the important. The most important thing uh, that I see is people doesn't understand the importance of the environment. They just take that the environment is something that you can live on and do whatever you want to do. You can put, you can kill people and put it in a, in a stream. Because now you can see when you got them, people are killing each other and putting it in a heart. That doesn't happen in our culture. People are killing dogs. If your dog is dead, they don't make plain that they must bury, they take it to the river. So you can see that something is went wrong in our mind that we need to deal with the mindset of our people. Even the government himself, you can look at the parliament, they are fighting every day. Instead of coming with the solution, they fight each other because mindset is a problem. It's what I see. Yeah. No, I, 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 I think, um, I think I, I agree completely with you there. Um, just to, with regards to the timber plantations, um, yeah, it is. It's it that it's a it's a huge struggle. Um, yes. But I, but but I believe that uh, that the model will have to change in the long term, yeah. you know, because it is not the monoculture like that is not a natural thing. It is not a sustainable thing. It is an exploitative thing, you know. And in the end, yeah. I mean, uh, it, uh, these 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 soils will be in a way they being mined, and and when you mine something, you know, you deplete it. So even the soils, they can become depleted, you know. So I think yeah. if the the, the 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 decision makers in the timber industry, if they if they have foresight, if they can think to the future and if they care for future generations, they will have to yeah. start making changes. I mean, yeah. initially it, it wouldn't have to be radical changes. They don't have to immediately destroy all their timber plantations. No, but they will have to start making changes. They will have to start. Uh, diversifying, they will have to start incorporating diversity into those uh, those yeah. plantation compartments to make them, you know, resemble some kind of forest. You know, they call them forests, but it's not a forest. forest. A plantation a forest. Is a forest, you know, um, and yeah. it needs to be a forest if it wants to be yeah, a, any form of sustainability. And it needs to yeah. be. It needs to be. There needs to be animals involved. You know, there needs to be that, yeah. that cycle of life. Um, which is now mm. missing, you know. So I think it is still it is something that 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 we 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 always need to to strive for is to do exactly what you say, change the mindset, you know. That nature it is oh. not only there to be uh, to be exploited. It is it is there to give us life, you know. Right. Um, yeah. But uh, I, I I've heard this theory where they they call it the half earth theory. Where they say that at least half of the available land should go yeah. for nature, for nature, yeah. but not 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 for nature's sake, for our sake, for the people's sake. Oh, the people yeah. they depend upon nature, you know, and nature cannot survive if you say like now we are destroying everything and everything is diminishing and. No, that's why the little bit that remains, sure, we have to nurture so so carefully, you know, we have to take care of so carefully. That's why in this day and age, just to go ahead and create a big mall and just to 
bulldoze those uh, those trees and and, and 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 plants that's that's in that region and just you know like you say also down to people throwing a dead dog in the river you don't do that you know you bury a dead dog out of respect mm -hmm. so i think uh, that's also something that you've mentioned is that we need to reacquire some some form of respect for nature you know because of all these things that it gives to us and, and we must just hope that 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 we wake up as a as a as a global society and and we must also hope that it is not too late you know because at the yes. moment the way things are going and that again and, and i would ask you uh, just if you and just to reflect on that briefly is the fact that we are so many people on the planet um I've heard it said that uh, the planet can sustain uh, us people. We, we, it can sustain us if we work more carefully, if we tread more carefully, if we if we use you know we emit less carbon and curb climate change. But 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 what do you think about this issue that there's just so many people on a planet with finite resources and and of course not only that there's that there's so many people but that some people use so much resources you know compared to others so some people some impoverished people i mean they they have little impact on the environment because they eat maybe a, a little you know not much food and they don't have an expensive car and they don't have a, a, you know have, have, have all the energy requirements that other people have you know who has maybe three big cars and and, 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 and and huge energy requirements and three or four houses and you know um, so 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 it's not only a problem of of population it's also a problem of resource use you know so people have to learn to live with less um, one of the previous people that we spoke to old Matthew Slobane, he was he was talking even about the, the way that we build our houses, it needs to change. It needs to go back to a way where we use the earth to build our houses so that we don't be so dependent on mining. You know, of course, Matthews is a, is a you know, Matthews is a mining activist, you know, anti-mining. Yeah, yes. so, um, um, but yeah, so we must, we must become less dependent on these, on, on this kind of extractive industry. So he's 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 saying the solution is to just learn to live with with less. What would you yes. say with regards to the almost eight billion people on the planet and and the way that we are so interlinked and that it it's very difficult to to unlink the links, you know? Yes. It, it, yeah. No, it, it, it's only that uh, our our education. Uh, yeah, the problem is our education system because uh, when you look at our education system, they don't, it, it doesn't assist our people because there was, it, it must always need to be a labor somewhere to work for somebody because they, everybody that to every, our children, when they go to school, when they ask him what, are you going to do when you finish the school? I'm going to work at the mine or I want to be a doctor or I want to be whatever. So the mindset doesn't teach us how, how to do things, to think. You, you know, if the, the system teach us how to think, then our people will never have a problem because we know, like now, people, they think that if you don't have money, you will die with your hunger, but you have hands, you have a soul around you. You don't put anything uh, just to put up our, our, our seed, put seed that you can help yourself. So our education te teach us to remember. You can see when you, uh, our children, they take maybe four to five days uh, because it's going to write an exam, just thinking about uh, what is the biggest river in South Africa? What was Mother Shaka's name? So what does that thing do with our living? Because uh, now we have doctors that cannot produce even the vaccine. They said that doctors that graduate, but that graduate only to distribute a panado because they learn how to distribute panado. That's why you can see now if someone is sick, our our 
our top people you cannot see going to through our hospital don't go overseas because this the way the doctors are we don't have doctors we don't have engineering engineer but all those depend on us how to change this because if we think that uh, as as a traditional healer i cannot produce a vaccine i cannot heal some wounds i must refer only to the hospital that is disappointing very disappointing we need to have people that think that if in, if i don't have something to eat uh, i don't have money but i can still lie, live because i can plant my own food i can uh, do whatever it takes because we have places in our around especially in pumalanga we are in the rural areas but if you can see the land is just a land we put a green grass but we don't have food we you you see so those those education destroy us and if you can look at the the the, the hectares of the plantation there are many hectares millions i don't know if you can look at around salvi latin back going over email you you can think that uh, we cannot even if we can have more videos of people we still have a place to do our things but because of some people are taking uh, that uh, this is my land this is my place they don't want to share if we can learn how to share our resources we can we can survive even uh, we have more than uh, 100 billion people we to share ideas to share whatever we have because culture it tells that you are because of me is under the case i know what if you, uh, i'm here in the planet i'm here because you are here so what what is important is to share ideas to share the resources and then now you can see many people are, are having food but the, uh, through it in a dustbin but there are some that are, are sleeping without eating anything we don't know how to share things our resources where someone he got more than the trillion money but he still still you know you cannot understand why uh, people that have more money but they steal from the poor we know is the mm. way the problem comes because instead of sharing your resources you still stealing from them mm. so it's not, it's not the issue of the population is the issue of sharing can we share life can we share whatever we have can we share our knowledge and life and whatever we have because if you have more than billion money but uh, uh, your neighbor doesn't uh, it works to the, you, you see your neighbor is sick it needs to call an ambulance to come and pick problem comes i think we need to come up with the mechanism that we need to understand what life is all about because life is not about me it's all about us yeah so sure. no um i i thank you um fani i think um i think we've had to each up yes uh, i think we've had a a, a a a good discussion and i i i ag agree with a lot of, of with all basically all of what you were saying um yeah and uh and i yeah i think we we, we must have a, a discussion like this again sometime in the future um um it would be nice maybe to have a kind of a panel discussion also that's also a possibility in the future but this is being recorded so it will be um on on youtube i'll put it up okay. probably tomorrow and we'll see if it if it's streamed live to facebook i'm not sure i i um i connected it and i hope that it that it's streamed um but yeah i want to just uh, thank you thank you for your time and if there's any any further comments which you would like to um just add to this discussion before we we close anything that you would want to add no i i i think uh, for today 
or we can yeah i think we had, a, we had, a, we had a quite a broad and a big and a deep discussion yeah. so um i thank you very much and i bid you good night thank you very much yeah. again for your time and uh, you must uh, sleep well and i hope to see you soon no, thank you. I'll be waiting for the invitation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, yeah. buddy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks okay. very much. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. See you. See you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I to find a place to stop. Thank mm -hmm.